Hey guys, Running Kimono here. So I did hit up Walgreens this morning and oh my gosh, it hit 90. I know first, first thing this morning, like seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, um, a lot of stores were not at 90, but something changed. Um, my understanding is that there's a fancy dancy um, scanner at every Walgreens called a zebra and the manager has to go and scan every single tag and once it has been scanned uh, they change it in their system so things will ring up for 90. Some stores still might be at 70 so the best thing to do is to find something that you see tagged with an orange tag on clearance for 50 or 70 percent off ask really nicely um, for an employee to scan it. And something like this that was tagged for $9.99, well, this morning it's 90% off. Now, um, even though it was showing up as a 70% tag at my store or a 50% tag, I knew it was 90. So um, this was 99 cents, the original price point was 9.99. And it's that thing. So hopefully by this afternoon, every store will be 90. If not, don't shoot the messenger. Um, this clearance event was really kind of all over the place and uh, they're, apparently they're letting managers program it themselves and that's what I understand. Uh, but I've heard a hundred different stories, but I know that like the freebie guy was out first thing this morning in Texas trying to do some stuff. And then I rolled out around 10 o'clock this morning and initially they were like, yeah, it's 70. And then um, they, I was trying to leave the store and they're like, wait, 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 um, we're going to start marking everything for 90. And then I got all my bags. I didn't really grab any floaties or fun in the sun sort of stuff um, because I still have a lot of stuff from last year. And because we are, you know, in the situation that we are in this summer, a lot of that stuff did not get used because other than, uh, you know, visiting my basement or my front yard, I didn't really go anywhere this year. Okay, so we're gonna talk about price points and hopefully you guys are out there killing it. Uh, and um, we're just gonna dive into it. No weather report today, but hi to my mom if she's watching. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is um, an absolute and total freebie. So. Um, these Trident Vibes, um, it's a little gum, and this morning they hit 90% off, so they were 44 cents each. So the original price for this was, I think, $4.99 for each, or $4.49 for one. So at 90% um, off, they were ringing up for 44 cents each, so grabbing two of them, um, that is 88 cents. Now, in the, Aug in the September Big Book, you find this at the front of the store, we have a dollar off two. For whatever reason, this did not work for me a couple days ago, but today it worked on these specific gums. So what it does, guys, uh, this little IVC coupon, um, your subtotal of 88 cents will get reduced down to nothing. So it makes it a free item. Now, if you open your Ibotta app, there's a 50 cent rebate that you can do up to five times. It works with the, the Trident Vibes, so it's a little money maker too. The last time we had a deal like this with the Robitussin, uh, I know a lot of you were saying that, you know, your cashiers refused and they were like offering to take you by, you know, uh, the scruff of your neck and throw you in the parking lot and wrestle with you. They were not going to let you have anything for free out in the store, which is fine. Just load it digitally and grab yourself a nice tea and you'll be like laughing all the way. You'll be laughing out of the store. Um, but you know, some stores, they might not even let you do this deal, but if you can make it happen, go for it. Um, so what I would recommend is to buy them in sets of two so you can use the IVC. I know some people are able to use the IVC on one product, but some stores it will not work, um, depending how it scans. Um, I always try to buy them in sets of two. And Ibotta is giving back 50 cents for each, and you could do it up to um, five times. So I grabbed six in one transaction and two in the other so I can get that rebate twice. And I mean, how fantastic is that? So for, I submitted um, one receipt today because I grabbed six for my first transaction and then two for my second. And uh, I think guys, I made 250 off of this. So I mean, it's like money making gum. So good luck with that. And if your store is super strict, load it digitally and grab something else so your balance isn't zero. Um, and if uh, they're going to give you a really difficult time, you know, just load it digitally and see what happens or don't do the deal at all. Um, so again, I found this in the clearance section with the back to school stuff. There's a ton of food and I'm going to show you this at the end. But some stores, this stuff isn't even tagged because like that is not 90% off and they didn't change the tags this morning. So 
good luck with this one and I don't think there's anything better in life than money making gum. This little deal that we have is on these hauls. These are the bags of the 80 drops and they are $5.99 a pop. So at 90% off, they were 59 cents each. That is a fantastic price point. Okay, so I think this might be my favorite find of my haul. These Sharpie markers, there's eight of them and it's a chiseled cut. So really good for um, doodling, that sort of thing, or like even if you wanted to do graffiti. Not all of the products to um, for back to school, like the supplies are part of clearance. I think they're gonna either send it back to head office or possibly what they might do is um, put it with the regular stationary stuff, which is a possibility. Like not all pens and stationary were part of this. So these guys were $9.99 um, at 90% off, it was 99 cents each. So they're gorgeous markers. I got one for my mom because she does like to draw and I like to draw too. So we have three sets and I'm sure we will use them. And my husband was like, I need that black one. So 99 cents. And again, at my store, just to stress it, um, the tags were I think 70 or 50% off but they scan differently at the cash register. So just to note that, because that is awfully confusing. Now this was another superb find that I absolutely loved are these Energizer batteries. The original price point for these were $17.99. I paid $1.79 for 10. So I mean, like, that's just fantastic. So I'm really happy with that. And um, this isn't part of the clearance uh, for this, but I did find one of these. I needed one of these um, and it was $4.99. It was 50% off and I just found it at um, checkout. They had a whole display of different pop sockets, but it's not part of the back to school. But hey, I still wanted it because if you try to order these things online, I think on Amazon it's like 15 bucks for one with shipping and this is definitely the way to do it and it is the pop socket company so it's a great one and I love pop sockets so I got one of these. Thing I found and this is the Walgreens brand of backpack so it is the Wexford. These were originally $7.99 each. Um, I grabbed 10 of them and they were 79 cents a pop. So at 90% off I got a whole host of colors. I think with um, Toys for Tots um, in December, a lot of, um, they will be looking for donations. I know that uh, various, I think even Walgreens has like a, a box for Toys for Tots. So I'm gonna drop a bunch of these in there um, when it comes to December because I think a lot of families are, will just be really hurting. So now we're gonna look at some slides of stuff I didn't buy that are still fantastic deals. Okay guys, so in the um, back to school section, lots of stores have it staged or they will have this staged on an end cap or close to the clearance stuff. But here's these items at 90% off. So we have the Sour Patch Kids for 30 cents. The Ibotta rebates are Walmart only. They're not at Walgreens for this. So sorry guys. And we have the Swedish Fish for 30 cents as well. So those two little products of the um, little gummies are 30 cents at 90% off. We have these wonderful um, Nature's Valley, uh, this specific one for 42 cents. So um, if you can try and track down some peelies or if you might have coupons, like try and make it work, um, you know, especially if your store has a lot of this stuff. Um, and then these uh, Fiber One bars for 39 cents. That's some significant savings if you think about it. And there's lots of food. I know that the freebie guy was posting it too. He found some sort of Kellogg cereal. Um, it was this like Shopkin cereal, really inexpensive. Go check out his Instagram or fa Facebook page uh, for that. And then we have the Captain Crunch for 43 cents for this box. I mean, that's fantastic. This is also not General Mills. I said that a couple days ago. It's its, its own thing. It's like Quaker or something like that, but 43 cents high. These little um, bags of treats, and I didn't buy any of it. I was such a good girl. <laughs> 30 cents. And even though it was uh, tagged at a different cost, they were still ringing up for 30 cents. So look, but don't touch. And I didn't touch any of it, but there was a whole lot at 90% off. Even if you wanted a couple of these, you know, for just a snack, <laughs> it's just some great price points. Now, the next bunch of photos, a friend of mine about it two hours away um shot them and a special shout out to all the more free um so we're gonna look at her store and yes they did in fact have the proper tags up at her store so we have the um vienna fingers little cookie for 42 cents the black forest um it's some sort of um you know 
28 in a big box for lunches at uh, 59 cents. Also a really great price point. And they had a bunch of different um, flavors of that. And then these little um, nerd bites for 44 cents. I mean, you can see the savings right there. Um, just a great deal. And then also the larger size of the Oreo Golden for 54 cents. I mean, hi. And then the same price for the regular uh, chocolate ones for 54 cents. Um, so that's a really like, that's just some significant savings at 90% off. So even if you wanted to have this uh, to just keep in your pantry for a couple of months, you know, um, it's winning every single way. These Hall Defense, the grapefruit ones is 59 cents. Um, unfortunately, I could not track these ones down, but it's a really great price point. Now these next two are bug sprays by this company named Cutters. So 67 cents for those blue tops, high savings. And then the traditional orange tops are 64 cents. That's some really great savings right there. And also um, this fancier Kula, it's like some sunscreen for $2.89. Uh, the original price point is 28 bucks. Please pay attention. You're grabbing the right ones when you're in the store. We have the Walgreens Baby Lotion uh, for suntan or um, sunscreen, pardon me, uh, for 29 cents. So just a little bit of savings. And then uh, after the sun lotion for 29 cents as well. So you're definitely going to want to take a walk through that sun care aisle and see what they have priced. And don't forget about the um, bug spray as well. One thing I didn't grab or really talk about is a lot of the fun in the sun stuff, like the pool floaties, that sort of stuff, even like the kids' toys for summer. For example, this uh, slime gun, $9.99 down to $0.99, cents, just to give you a visual of, of what it looks like. At my store, everything was still priced at 70% off, but like a lot of these products um, to the far right, that little canopy at $19.99 down to $70 is $5.99, but today it's $1.99. That lady with the straw, that little cup holder for $7.99 today would be $0.79, cents, and those um, little uh, wicker, whatever it is, bags uh at $6.99 would be down to $0.69 cents each. So you can really see some deep savings here with the sale. Um, good luck, guys. I know you're going to really kill it. Okay, guys. So the last thing I want to talk about is Bath & Body Works. As you guys know, yesterday I made a video and I was like, oh my gosh, I got all that stuff for $2.75 and I'm like the queen of Bath & Body Works. <sighs> I also had a coupon that came in the mail for a free item. Now, it was an item up to $7.50, but I had to buy something else, so I thought, okay, so if I got one of those sprays, I'll just grab one of these and I'll be laughing. These are $7.50, they used to be $5.50. So I grabbed one of these yesterday, and then I looked at my receipt last night and I actually paid for it. <laughs> Isn't that great? So I went back today, so my free item never came off. I actually paid for my free item, so there's not a lot of free items happening with that transaction. So um, the cashier uh, or the manager said, hey, just grab one and then we'll call it good. And I was totally fine with that. So I either could get a full refund or she would just give me um, another one. So I just grabbed another one of these little um, lotions. And I can't stress it enough. Um, any store that you're at, when you do get home, I know that you're running around with a mask on your face, socially distancing. And it's a different world that we're living in right now. So sometimes you're kind of rushed or absent-minded because you're thinking, okay, I'm not going to touch my face. I have to socially distance. Um, I think somebody might have farted over there and I might have smelt it. So I must have like COVID-19 right now. Like it's just, if you have anxiety like me, our minds are racing 24 seven, but definitely do a little audit when you get home, look at your receipts. If something didn't ring up for cost, you go back to the store the next day and make it right. Because this could have been a $2 and 75 cent mistake, which might seem like nothing, but I'm not gonna pay for something that should have been free. So um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and I struggle too shopping guys. It's not always a cakewalk for me, but I just wanted to share this that uh, even with everything going on right now, for you to take a couple of minutes to look at your receipts every night, you, something you should be doing because sometimes things slip through the cracks or you are like, you know, enthralled with somebody's fart in the store and that happens. It's happened to me before. <laughs> so anyhow, that's enough fart talk for tonight. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.